Watch out for raw milk. I know that it can seem enticing. The world is full of really wacky and ultra processed foods and sometimes we just wanna buy what feels the most natural. But pasteurization was invented for a reason. Milk straight from an udder can contain a whole lot of nasty microbes like listeria, salmonella, and E. coli that can make you really sick. So French chemist Louis Pasteur developed a method in the 19th century to kill these bacteria, making wine and beer and milk safer to drink and extending their shelf life. This is basically the same process that we use today. It's called pasteurization, and it usually involves heating the milk up to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit for around 15 seconds. And pasteurization has been used in U.S dairy farms for the past century to help curb the spread of foodborne illnesses like typhoid fever, diphtheria, and even tuberculosis. Raw milk doesn't get pasteurized, so any pathogens hanging out in the drink can stick around while it gets bottled and transported and sold to consumers. And as if classic food poisoning isn't already gnarly enough, public health experts recently detected H5N1, aka bird flu, in raw milk from an infected cow. The extremely contagious disease has been tearing through U.S. cattle farms lately, and the CDC is begging us to quit it with the raw milk. Yet even still, raw milk sales are weirdly on the rise. Some health experts are speculating that people are buying raw milk with the hopes that it can give them antibodies against bird flu, which I'm sorry to say is probably impossible. The virus is pretty complex and it's way more likely to sicken you than help you get immunity. And trust me, you do not want bird flu. We encounter risky foods all the time, like any raw or semi-cooked food like sushi or cookie dough, but the risk of raw milk flies under the radar and you should definitely be cautious of it, especially if you're a child, if you're pregnant, or if you're over 65. Seriously, no snack is that good.